Yo, what's going on guys? It's Josh here from the Bag of Tricks. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's not really a trick tip, but it is a video that is meant to help beginner park riders um, hopefully get better at what they do, ride parks. So uh, today we're going to be talking about why beginner park riders should not use poles when they first start riding park. Now, if you pay attention to the skiing park scene, you may have noticed that uh, riding without poles is becoming the new style it's becoming the new norm you see pros in the x games riding without poles like henry harlow and and guys like that uh, nick gepper has been seen without poles tornator wallace doesn't use poles so it is becoming a new trend in the park scene but a lot of pros and a lot of riders still consider riding with poles more stylish and all that so when you're first getting into park um you're probably coming from regular skiing in which you probably use poles but I'm here to tell you why you should drop those poles the first time you hit the park. So like I said, some pros are dropping poles for style, and uh, that's their choice, that's preference. It's, it, style is really just preference. Um, but I'm here to talk about the practical reasons why you shouldn't be using poles when you first enter the park. Number one, the main first reason is just kind of air awareness and balance. Um, for me, Getting a grab while doing a spin makes a spin 20 times easier, 20 times easier. It just compacts my body. Everything is balanced. Everything's more together. I mean, I, I just feel more solid when I lock in a real good grab. And this season, I actually was the first season in a little while that I started the season with poles. And um, I noticed at the beginning of the season that when I was hitting jumps, I was really uncomfortable. And it took me a while to figure it out. I used poles for a solid month, I would say, at the beginning of the year. Um, and it wasn't until I dropped my poles and started hitting jumps that I feel comfortable again. And that was because I was able to more easily lock in my grabs. With a pole in your hands, it, it does get a little bit difficult to lock in your grabs. Even if you get the line poles with the grab tab and everything that help you out, it's still harder to grab your skis with poles in your hands than it is without poles. So when I dropped my poles, I definitely noticed that I was more comfortable in the air and I was able to lock in my grabs more easily so if you're a new skier who's first learning spins who's first learning grabs not having poles in your hands is gonna make it all so much easier so next up is when you start to learn bigger tricks inverts maybe a 720 maybe a cork spin maybe something you're just nervous about um, not having poles in your hands kind of gives you a mental edge as well. I've, I've noticed when I don't have poles, I'm not as worried about crashing. I think crashing without poles is much easier to to deal with than crashing with poles. You know, um, when you're first going upside down, I know personally, I was scared about the bottom of my pole. Like, I didn't want to get stabbed or something by the pole. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but at the end of the day, man, you never know. You never know. So, when I was starting newer, bigger tricks, I always felt much more com confident when I didn't have poles compared to when I did. Um, and I think it may be a bit safer. You know, when you crash without poles strapped to your wrists, there's a lot less chance of getting like a wrist injury, an arm injury, something like that. So crashing is just much, much easier when you're when you're not using poles. There's less equipment to worry about. There's no sharp ends to worry about. And it just gives you a, a clean state of mind when you head into a new trick. So at the end of the day, it's all preference. If you want poles to help you get around the mountain easier, by all means go for it. But if you're just going to be grinding in the park, I would suggest at first to not use poles. Uh, once you get more experienced and you get your style and you're not worried, you know, you have your tricks on lock, you're not worried about crashing as much, um, then you can pick up some poles if you want to. If you want that style, pick some up and, and go from there. and just keep charging but again it's all preference at the end of the day i just wanted to tell you a few reasons why i think you should not use poles at the beginning of your park career but again guys it's all up to you you at the end of the day determine what your style is going to be and if you want to use poles go for it um if you want to use poles right out the gate and you don't want to listen to me go for it but uh i really think you'll improve more quickly at the beginning without polls. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, if this helped you at all, leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace.